Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, if you've been watching our channel, you know that we had a lot of odd jobs to do before we could start a firewood processor up. In the last week, we've been busy little beavers. And we're ready to get that firewood processor going today. So if you recall, we had to uh, get a couple of garage doors put on our buildings. We've got those jobs finished. The firewood processor was sitting right here before we built the sugar shack and we couldn't get the backhoe into it. So we've got the firewood processor moved back into its new home. And now we're going to process a little bit of that round wood that we've been bringing in um, over the course of the winter. You know, trees that were in the way of the, the trail when we were uh, driving around. So we stump cut that, we brought it in and we're gonna get the firewood processor up and running and uh, push some of that through just to test the machine out and make sure everything's good. And then we're gonna get the B2601 Kubota tractor and the Craneman timber trailer out and bring in a load of semi-tree length and push through the machine. Stick around. Okay guys, so this is that little bit of round wood that we've got to push through the splitter on the processor. Now some of this is only two inch stuff, it doesn't need to be split, we'll pass that right through. But some of this is like six inches and uh, we want to give that at least one split in the center so that it dries out good. So we're going to get the firewood processor started up and uh, this is going to be a little bit tedious because I have to keep raising the safety guard on the firewood processor to put the blocks in but uh, it's gonna be well worth it in the end because really, once I pass it through the firewood splitter, the conveyor's gonna take it right to the backhoe and I'll only have to touch it again to pile it. So let's see if we can get the old Raven 33 started up.
Okay guys, we made short work of that. So now we're gonna go get some semi tree length on the Craneman timber trailer and pull it in and uh, see how long it takes us to process few through a few buckets of that. Let's get at it.
Okay guys, you can see this craneman makes uh, short work of moving these semi tree length pieces of hardwood around. Uh, make, takes the work right out of it really. So I wanted to walk around and show you guys how we set up the firewood processor in its new location. Um, when we first bought the firewood processor, I was pretty keen to get it up and running and I had bought just little uh, patio stones to set it on and uh, there's a lot of weight here and there's obviously some impacts when you're moving the wood around and they broke pretty quickly. So this time around, we ended up getting some four foot by six foot patio stones, proper patio stones. And it's actually something that we had at the house and we pulled it out and replaced it with a different type of concrete product. But I thought that that would make a beautiful base for this firewood processor. So as you can see, we laid it out in kind of an L shape there. And uh, it was almost like it was made to order. It looks pretty good. And so Karen won't be very pleased to hear this, but I'm already thinking about how I'm gonna put a building over top of this.
Okay guys, we've got a few little kinks to work out, but one thing that I like about uh, the new location of the processor is I left about 10 feet between here and my big bank. And so I think I can just keep putting my sawdust and stuff down over the bank for now. So that's gonna be an improvement. I think I'd like to have some sort of a blower or something here to move sawdust straight to the bank so that I don't have to continue to use my little rake to pull it out. And uh, then I, of course, I've got to move it from here to there. So that'll be an improvement. And uh, there's probably a few other little things that I can do, but uh, for just getting this set up in the new location on the new pad, I think that it's gonna work out quite well. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Okay guys, so it looks like uh, we're back in business. I was a little bit worried in that last video, obviously, because I didn't think we'd get here so fast, but uh, things are drying up here in Oak Mountain. We're still in mud season, but uh, we've got a good dry yard to work with, and we've got a little bit of wood ahead here in the yard, and then of course the neighbor has uh, three to five cord over there, and he told me on the weekend that he plans on cutting more, so that's gonna be a good close haul for us, and it's gonna give us a good push to the start of the firewood season. Anyway guys, I'm always interested to hear what you think about our little operation here in Oak Mountain. Things that you pick up on that we might improve on to help our process. Always appreciative of those comments of course. Anyway, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one guys.